This is Tanks Vlog, May 27th, 2018, wrapping up today in sports. As expected, Western Conference Finals, Houston Rockets playing without Chris Paul, got obliterated by the Golden State Warriors. Though things did not look like it was going to happen like that at first. The first quarter, the Rockets came out like gangbusters. They scored 39 points, took a 17-point lead. Everyone in Oakland is, oh, what's going on here? No, 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 no. But the Warriors got their founder shot in the second quarter. Cut the lead to 10 by the half. And in the second half, Houston didn't even show up. Outscored. 64 to 25. Over the final 24 minutes. Absolutely embarrassing. Clay Thompson had 9 three-pointers. Scoring a game-high 35 points. And the team that scored 39 points in the first quarter. Only made it to 86 points for the entire game. That means over the final three quarters, they scored they scored almost as many points in the first quarter as they did in the final three quarters. Oof. The one good thing for Houston is Game 7 will be at home. But if Chris Paul is not playing, you might see the same result. Because, oof, Houston, you've got a problem. Game seven in the East is Sunday. And that's going to be Boston against Cleveland. The Celtics have won all ten games at home so far this postseason. Now, LeBron James has been dominant, but he has not had much help from his supporting cast. If he doesn't get help, Sunday, I think we'll see the same result. I think we'll see the Celtics win. I think it might be a close one. And we'll see what happens for the uh, NBA Finals. We will know by this time Monday night. into Well, actually, Monday night slash Tuesday morning. Who will be the NBA Finals participant? Stanley Cup Finals, of course, begin Monday. And I should be getting my prediction up tomorrow at some time. So keep an eye on that. <sighs> Baseball. Ding, 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 When you go cheap, you go cheap all the way, all the way is the Will Pond way to be. We're gonna get all the crap that nobody else wants on their team. Yes, that's right, Jason Vargas staked to a 3 nine lead, gave it up like that. Right away, bing, bing, bing. Jay Bruce, you know, if, if, if his heel is that bad, he needs to sit. He needs to sit, and you put him on the disabled list. You put Jonas Cespedes with his hip pointer on the disabled list, even though he looked like he was actually capable of playing. Jay Bruce right now is not capable of playing. He can't swing the. He is not getting any power. He's got three home runs. He's batting 220 something. And in the outfield, he's a disaster. You know, plantar fasciitis is a pain. It hurts. I've had plantar fasciitis. I can't imagine playing baseball with it. I went to work with it, of course, but when you're sitting in a desk all day, it's not it's, it's okay. But oof. Oh god, it hurts. I mean I got this like gel that I put in my shoe to help relieve it, but it doesn't do much. I mean, just ima imagine like a spike in your heel. That's what it feels like. And Jay Bruce looks like he's got concrete feet right now. He's not getting to fly balls. Balls are getting past him, rolling to the wall for doubles and triples. He's a disaster. He is an absolute disaster right now. 
and he needs to sit. He needs to sit. Put put Joey Bats in the outfield right now. I think I think that's the Mets' best option. I think it's now the time to put Jose Batista out in the outfield for a couple of days. Let Jay Bruce rest. Oh God. And the rest of the bullpen was absolutely terrible. AJ Ramos, you suck! You know, it's just like a deja vu of last year. Last year, the Mets season basically ended in Milwaukee on Mother's Day weekend. This year, it's going to end in Milwaukee on Memorial Day weekend. Let's see what pain Sunday comes when it's Zach wheels off. And then we go to Atlanta. Oh, the pain, the pain, the pain. Why can't we get an owner that pays and spends money? Why? You know, this is New York. We're not a small market team. And Sandy Alderson. Go away. Go away. You see, you'd be so terrible drafting. We have nobody in the minors that can help us. Nobody. <sighs> Yankees experienced almost the same type of pain today at home as Sonny Gray was brutalized by the California by the Anaheim Angels. That means the Yankees have lost another game on the Red Sox, who have a two-game lead, but they're tied in the law, but they do remain tied in the loss column. The Red Sox rallied to beat the Braves today, eight to six. It was the Athletics blanking the Diamondbacks three to nothing. The Rangers edged the Royals 4-3. Aaron Nola had a no-hitter going late as the Phillies beat the Blue Jays 2-1. The Cardinals were 4-1 winners over the Pirates. The White Sox doubled up the Tigers 8-4. The Nationals clobbered the Marlins 4-1. It was the Rays 5-1 winners over the Orioles. The Indians Beat the Astros 8-6. It was the Giants 5-4 winners over the Cubs. The Reds rocked the Rockies 6-5. It was the Mariners 4-3 winners over the Twins. And the Padres beat the Dodgers 7-5. Today's three stars are Clay Thompson of the Warriors. Daniel Megden of the Athletics who had a Complete game two hitter against the Diamondbacks. And Mike Trout went to five for five with a home run, three doubles, four RBIs, three runs as the Angels beat the Yankees. Today's birthday shout out goes to Frank Thomas, who turns 50. And we take a look back to the same date that Frank Thomas was born. George Hallis retired for the last time from coaching. He basically was the patriarch of the NFL. Took him from their founding all the way up to the Super Bowl era. Winning 324 games. He st- uh, his family still owns the Bears. Although, <laughs> that's not been going too well lately. So check out the full story of Barstool Sports and Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. And the Mets are misery.